Okay, so I'm going to talk for a second about an issue I have with uh, with someone that's trying to create a file into an FVX, but they're being they're unsuccessful at it. So basically, what we have here is a model that uh, is an octane file, and if you want to take this file and you want to just export it over as an FVX. I show you if I just come in here to the Cinema 4D export and I say FBX test and these are the options I'm running R17 I'm so I'm going to use FBX version uh, 2016 which is the most recent for this one and make sure that my embedded uh, textures and materials are selected lights cameras sure why not and any animation tracks uh, are baked as well as normals and in this case, this doesn't have anything for vertex maps, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go ahead here and do that. So when I do that, what I get is FBX test. So if I look at the model right off the bat, what you'll notice is the embedded textures, well, it's only 3.21 megabytes. So let's just drop and drag it anyway. Same settings for the import, I'll say okay and I have no textures. Um, now, the big issue here is that uh, it's now a, um, it's not no longer an Octane model. So Octane is specific for C4D, and um, even if you're using the standalone, you're not gonna get the textures uh, just naturally exported in a different file format. So what you have to do is come into the original file and you have to create a new texture. So for this, I'm going to create a new texture. And just to show you my flow of how I do this, so for this particular model, the uh, the owner of it was smart enough to label everything properly. So I'm going to copy the name. I'm going to drop the name in here, and I actually don't need Octane anymore because we're we're getting it out of Octane. And then I'm going to come in. To the materials I'm gonna go ahead and paste those and if I look I have all these materials for that particular part so if I come in and let's see if I can do this and I can drop and drag so I have the the base color and then we have it looks like we have a, a normal a roughness channel so let's throw a roughness channel in here And uh, we'll do that. And then if I come in and I tell it that I would also like, I've got a normal, so we'll go ahead and add the normal. And I'm gonna drag this off screen so I can actually do this. Actually, here, I think uh, it's trying to copy something else I have here, so let me do this. All right, so when I come in, I have my my four options, so let's do this properly. So the key is also here to make sure that you're in the root folder. You don't want to have to copy things. You want it to be in the root folder, and then there's a displacement uh, uh, for a height, which is probably going to be blown out, and you may have to adjust this. So if you have a file that you naturally get in Cinema 4D, and uh, or for octane and you want to export it you're going to have to go through a little bit of legwork so now i just hold alt and i drag this onto that material and boom i get that material now on here so now if i go and i take a quick look actually you know what i'm gonna have to change that so let's go to a standard because i don't want that sky or that camera um, and i'll just leave the default light just so we can see it so there you go. So there's the texture now on it. This is how it's going to export it. You export it to FBX. It's just a randomized color because it's not using the Octane render. So what I've done is I've gone through and I've created exactly how you saw it on all of the textures. And if I come back down here and I pull him in. <clears throat> and let's see if I'm going to reload some of those.
There we go. So you can see all the textures. I've got a physical render going right now, and I've also added in the background um, that was uh, that was given to me to to work with the model. So this is everything as it was originally. This is the model as you you would import it before it would be uh, converted to Octane. So now that we have this model set in here, I can now take and j just to show you. So if I look here, I have the regular material editor. I have my color. I don't have a reflectance, but I do have a bump and a normal, and most all of these have a displacement. Um, so I've set all these channels so that they're they're dragged and dropped onto the originals. Uh, and that's what you're going to have to do. So now if I come in and I export as an FBX, and I'm going to call this one Reaper FBX. Yes, I've already written this, so I'm going to overwrite it. And then same process here, embedded textures and materials. Now when I say OK, and then I open the folder to take a look, I have Reaper FBX test. Remember, it was only 3.21 megabytes. Now I have the embedded textures at 187 megabytes. So if I take this and I drop this into my scene, just to verify, because we always want to verify that it works, I say OK let it load and now it's loading the same camera angle and everything you'll see that I have the camera for the editor there's a sky null because it's the sky is specific to C4D so that doesn't matter anymore uh, and uh, and then I have the model and I have all the textures now the only thing I see that's probably an issue here is uh, all of my strengths on the displacement are way whacked out so uh, I may want to come in here and adjust those. Let's see if I can do this just to do a quick check. So I would probably want to adjust those down, otherwise some of those displacements will bleed through. But if I just render it, I have all the textures. You can see them all here, including the materials. They will transfer over, but only if it's a C4D native file. So hopefully that's helpful to you guys. And uh, if you have questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching.